One day, Duck the Great Western Engine was at the works. He was getting a new whistle fitted, as his old one was broken. The workmen were busy taking off his old whistle, as Duck sat in the sun resting his buffers. He was just about to close his eyes, when one of the workmen walked up to him. It appears we don't have a whistle like yours, Duck. We do have a spare one for Oliver if you want to use that until your new one comes in. Duck didn't want Oliver's whistle, but he knew that without a whistle, he couldn't be useful. So, he agreed. That's no problem, said Duck. Anything to get my wheels moving again. Soon, Duck had the new whistle fitted and puffed out of the works whistling as he headed back to his branch line. Duck was soon pulling his passenger train, when he had to stop at a red signal. He blew his whistle so that the signalman could change the points. However, the signalman didn't realise that it was Duck. He thought it was Oliver coming back with the breakdown train. So, he switched the points and sent Duck down the wrong line. As Duck was puffing down the line, he couldn't help but notice that there was something wrong. Wait a minute, this isn't the way to Holtra, this is going to... Duck, look out! Duck and Oliver applied their brakes, but it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Oliver and Duck had come off the rails. Duck! cried Oliver. Are you alright? I'm alright, Oliver, replied Duck. I'm just glad my passengers aren't hurt. I just can't understand why the signalman sent me down the wrong line. Then, Duck suddenly remembered. My whistle! Oliver was puzzled. Your whistle? When I went to the works, they had no choice but to give me a spare whistle that was exactly like yours. Oh, I... I see... Yeah. <laughs> Duck and Oliver couldn't help but laugh about it. Soon, Oliver and Duck were back on the rails. Sir Topham Hat had some stern words for the Great Western Engine. Chuck, I am very disappointed in you. I thought you knew how to handle whistles, but clearly you can't. You should only use your two tongues for emergencies only. But sir, said Duck, it wasn't my fault. The workers had to give me a spare whistle that sounded like Oliver's. I whistled to the signalman, and well, he must have assumed that I was Oliver. Sir Topham Hat was cross, and spoke severely to the signalman. You should have double-checked which engine was waiting at the junction. He boomed. I know, sir. I'm really sorry, sir. It won't happen again. I promise. I should hope so. And Sir Topham Hat walked away. From that day on, Duck always ensured to only use his two-toned whistle in emergencies. And whenever he passes the signal box, he always toots once just in case.